Have you ever been to the Egyptian wing of a history museum, seen all those amazing ancient artifacts covered in hieroglyphs and wondered, what on earth do all those pictures and symbols mean? Come along with me on a short tour of the world-renowned Egyptian museum in Cairo, where I'll read the hieroglyphs on two artifacts, a coffin and a small pyramid. Turns out it was a very useful skill to have since many things in the museum weren't labeled. The Egyptian Museum was built in 1901, and it's in the very heart of Cairo. It's home to countless treasures, mummies, and all sorts of priceless statues and coffins from throughout antiquity. It's a beautiful building, but the inside isn't very modern and certainly has seen better days. The museum will be replaced soon by the new sleek and modern Grand Egyptian Museum, or the GEM, located near the Pyramids of Giza, just outside the city. The new museum promises to be much more visitor-friendly with better labeling and explanations on the artifacts. But I didn't actually mind the current museum one bit, as it provided ample opportunity for me to practice reading ancient Egyptian. Let's take a look at the first artifact, a small pyramid dating back to the Middle Kingdom, carved around 3,800 years ago. I just used my hieroglyph reading skills to figure out that even though this pyramid is not labeled, this is a Menemhat, son of Ra Amenemhat. This is the king of the two lands. And that's Nimat Ra, which was Amenemhat III's other name. So here we have a, pyra a little pyramid for Middle Kingdom Pharaoh Amenemhat III. Studying hieroglyphs was definitely not a waste of time because, like, nothing in this museum is labeled. See? Not so hard. Just like reading any other language, only this one's a bit older than normal. The next artifact was a coffin, also dating back to the Middle Kingdom. All right, here we have a Middle Kingdom coffin. I can almost make out like half of it. An offering for Osiris, Lord of Jeddu. Something. Oh, great god, lord of the sky. I don't know what that part means. And then we've got an offering of bread and beer and geese, oxen, fowl, what have you. And then something I don't know. And then for the soul of the revered one. Then we have great god, lord of the sky, something, and then the guy's name is here, it's Hu, and that's the determinative for man. So there we go. I didn't quite get the whole line, but I was able to figure out 70% of a coffin. After months of studying hieroglyphs, finally visiting the Egyptian museum, and being able to put my skills to the test in person on real artifacts right in front of my eyes, was such a fabulous reward. The reading skills were also unexpectedly useful. Without a guide or the ability to understand the hieroglyphs, this is a tough museum to appreciate. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And if you think you want to give studying hieroglyphs a try, go for it. It's not as crazy difficult as you might think. Be sure to check out my other videos on my trip to Egypt and don't forget to subscribe for future travel adventures. Thanks for watching and see you next time.